signed to rap powerhouse Def Jam Records. Murder, holla, holla. Things were also looking up for the other kid from Queens. Eager to stop hustling, Curtis Jackson attracted the attention of the Trackmasters production team, who signed the aspiring MC to a label deal. From now on, Curtis Jackson would be known as... 50 Cent. I'm planning to take over New York and start expanding. In many ways, 50 Cent and Ja Rule seem to be leading parallel lives. Parallel lives that would intersect on the set of a video being shot in the very hood from which they both came. Ja's Murder Inc. label mate Black Child tells it like this. It was Murder for Life video shoot. Rule was shooting on Jamaica Ave. We were shooting the video and 50 came through the set. I guess he expected us to greet him with open arms. Now me and Ja just hit him with a what's up and kept it moving. He felt like we didn't show him enough love on the set. And from that point on, you know what I mean, he started hating. But 50 Cent remembers things a little differently. According to 50, the beef with Ja began months earlier following a club show in Queens where Ja had performed Can I Get A with Jay-Z. Sometime after leaving the stage, says 50, Ja's chain was swiped by a mutual acquaintance. I knew the dude who robbed him. Mm -hmm. You know, from the environment we, in our hood, that's, I know him. Mm -hmm. You know, so, and he's seen us in the club and he's seen us, you know, me smiling, kicking it with him regular. Mm -hmm. And he felt like after that, he carried me differently. When I came to say what's up to him later, he felt like I was, like I dissed him or something. The Murder Inc. camp flatly denies 50's version of events. That chain incident, 50 talking about making, that ain't real, you know what I mean? Despite the conflicting stories, one thing is clear. These two MCs will never be friends. In the spring of 99, 50 fires off the first of what would be many lyrical daggers aimed squarely at Ja Rule and his label, Murder Inc. Murder, I don't believe you. Murder, murder, your life's on the line. Fall of 1999, Ja Rule and 50 Cent find themselves at the same Atlanta nightclub booked on the same bill. Ja tells Double XL that the two met outside. According to Ja, 50 says, you know the record's out there, I can't pull the record back. To which Ja responds, I don't like you and I'll effing crush you and however you want to do it, it's whatever. The heated argument escalated into a physical fight. It would be yet another incident involving a chain. Again, according to Ja, quote, So he snuffed me. I went back, pulled the shirt over his head, and started catching him. Our mutual friend breaks it up. 50's chain popped. My chain popped. I picked up the little garbage can, chased him inside the hotel, and threw the sh as they was going inside the elevator. 50 allegedly walked away from the scuffle, boasting a pendant cross that had been hanging from a chain around Ja's neck. Legend has it that to get the chain back, Ja offered 50, using a mutual friend of the two rappers as a go-between, a Movado watch. <laughs> March 2000, 50 and Ja meet again, this time at the Hit Factory in Manhattan. Ja, Irv Gotti, Black Child, and other members of Murder, Inc. were at the famed recording studio when Ja gets word that 50 is in the house. They went up there with the intention of starting a fight. Um, ja said that one of his friends had a crush, so Ja who grabs the crush, and he goes up there to see 50 Cent. Honestly, so when we seen him, it was on. Someone shuts out the lights, or so the story goes, and a melee ensues as the Murder, Inc. posse confronts 50 and his crew, which includes G-Unit soldier Lloyd Banks. As Ja tells it, I'm there trying to hit him with the crutch, I'm going wild with the crutch, I'm even hitting some of the guys I'm with, with the mother effing crutch. We seen them, they seen us, they popped off, and one of them started reaching for a gun. Black Child says that someone was 50. In self-defense, claims Black Child, he began to stab 50. Yeah, I stabbed him, you know what I mean? But he was reaching for his gun and I poked him, straight up and down. And that's how it went. 50, I had a knife, you had a gun. 